see how they do. They again, pick the T side. So there, there's a tactic. That's right, they've won both knife rounds already. So, fair play to Iceland. They're pretty good at using knives. And now we await warm up to uh, finish once again. Oh, sorry. Cheers, 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 cheers. Yeah, uh, yeah, my bad. I forgot. Thank you. <laughs> We're all human. Yeah, apologies about that, guys. There's so many buttons to press when you're going in the they just invented it in one program where all you have to do is press one button. Start. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously you have scenes and stuff like that, but it's still not what, like a one button press. Especially when you're, you're moving from music to to regular stream. And the E-Frag guys are like, Oh, you must use our Very Games picture thingy majig. But anyways, it doesn't matter now. Let's forget Very Games. Actually, no, don't forget Very Games. Uh, the server provider, not the team. They're very, very nice. They're sponsoring this European Championship. So, uh, go and visit them at verygames.com, I guess. So, we're going live. Norway versus Iceland. whoop de doo Of course, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Iceland, of course, uh, they won the first map on Didos 2. So, let's see what happens now. Norway, they need to win this map to stay in the, in, in the game. So, well, we're just going to have to wait and see how it unrolls. So, Iceland, they're not wasting any time here. They're heading right to this B-bomb site. And Paint, well, he's all by himself and he's got a heck of a load of work to do. It's good to see he's taken... Uh, we got oil out of his name. Now I can uh, concentrate on talking paint. his paint. So, three versus four. It's not looking good for the terrorists, actually. Skirk takes down Cutter. And now it's all down to skip it. Lovely shot by him. Is he going to get this clutch? He spotted one CT. They're both to his right, of course. But Skirk will rid of him with ease. One nil to Norway, and that's the exact start they will have wanted. So, uh, again, would you have pushed straight into B? You know, T side pistol round mirage kind of thing, or would you have played it differently? Oh. I think they waited a bit too long. Yeah. But that was a too long. five second mistake. I said, I haven't wasted any time whatsoever. The pharmacies are out. Sentry with two. Skirk. Oh, we just missed his second. Oh, God. This, uh, just as I said that, commentator's curse. He did get his second, so a bit of a reverse commentator's curse there. I said he didn't get something, and he ended up getting it, so. Maybe if I say now Iceland won't win this round, they might go and make it 2-1, who knows. So come on, Nan. Let's see what Iceland are made out of. Now, of course, still on pistol, so on paper, it should be an easy Norway victory. It looks like they're doing the same thing again. No one near B. Sentry's watching mid, so that pretty much cancels B out. But there are only two CTs on this A bomb site. So, hey, we know what those Glocks and P250s can do. The question now is... Are oh, the uh, men in control of them going to do the right thing with them? Rubinho with one. He knows the second one's there. He's going to rid of him very, very well with that silenced USP. Sentry picks up that 5-7. And at the moment, well, the terrorists are being ripped to shreds on this A-bomb site. Easy stuff. And there's the knife, which pretty much, pretty much sums this entire round up. Paint knows, uh, he's anticipating exactly where Cutter's going to come from. And the paint beats the cutter. 3-0. Should be now mo more easy it's for you. <laughs> Again, the terrorists now they've got weapons, which is exactly what they want. They've got flashes, smokes as well. So let's see whether they can use them to their advantage and get that all important first round on the board. Of course, in the first map, Iceland was seven seven nil or seven nil down at one point, and then as soon as they got that first round, the superb fight back began on Dust Two. So they're only three nil down this time. If Iceland can get that first map on the board already, well we could see well, assuming they carry on their same form into this game, we could see some terrific comeback counter strike going on. But Skirk oh Skirk went too aggressive. Danos punished him with that AK. 
And frags, frags, this is what we've come to see. So come on, Norway, come on, Iceland, let's see more frags. Then I was just waiting on the rooftop. And Norway, not the best start for them. The flashes look like they're going to go over onto this A-bomb site. And are we going to have a push? Yes, we are. Let's see what they can do with it then. They've got to be quick about it. Rubinho will get the first kill for Norway. Skip it, however, returns a favour. Four versus three now. Sentry is being bombarded with grenades, isn't he? So they're all over this bomb site now. Of course, the CTs, they want to defuse it, but they can't get anywhere near the, the, the terrorists. They're just hiding behind those smokes. The CTs have got to play patient. They've got to wait for the smokes to disappear. And just as the smokes disappeared, off Biker was prepared, but he did go down to paint. But a kill's a kill. Three versus two. Cutter only on AHP now. What's going to come of this? Are they going to save? Are they going to go for it? Paint, he looks like he's going to save. And Vendetta, well, he's nowhere near this bomb site. And do you think that was the right decision by Norway? Do you think they could have probably gone for it? Three versus two. Well, <clears throat> probably because paint was pretty much low HP and decided to call it off. That was pretty much the smart thing to do because they can't can do anything since the, there was a lot of smoke on the on the site and the road and the Iceland. <laughs> now I got the problem of remembering it. They were just waiting for it. They were just waiting for it to bring the hell loose. Alright, fair enough. So, now see we've got guns versus guns. The CTs are still brought up, despite losing that round. Fair play to them. Sentry's gonna eat a few grenades, but the terrorists, they don't care. They're gonna go straight past him and walk into the trap of Vendetta. He'll pull the pistol out, but the three man wasn't meant to be. So now off Mike is going to push the upper B site and take down Paint, who of course, it looked like he only had a sniper rifle in his hand, so the uh, regular rifle got the better of the sniper rifle. Three on three, now they know where the CTs are going to rotate from, they're either going to come from short or through Kitchen, and we know Rubinho and his teammate to his right are indeed coming through Kitchen. So Drips, he's uh, holding that corner, but oh, he's leaving Kitchen un unmarked behind him. It's not like I'm talking about football, marking players. Cutter, hiding behind that window, will take down Skirk, and he's... Uh, Gone right behind that CT. And Sentry, the last man standing, gets one, gets two. Oh, two from Sentry. He's gonna put the. S no, he's gonna. He's gonna fall back. He's picked up the orb, and he is falling back. He could get an exit frag. He's gonna get the better of who? Cutter knows he's coming, and there's the kill. Sentry didn't. Do you think he had enough time Just left? He probably didn't have a kit. No. And a vent smash didn't pretty much help him. Yeah. Made a lot of noise and uh, Cutter took out the trash. So 3 2, round number 6. City on Eco. Yep. Someone asked what was the first map score. It was 1 0, or well, it was, well, let's just 16 say 16 11. 16 11, okay, 16 11 to Iceland. So, of course, if Iceland emerged victorious now in map number 2, they're going to win and we will jump into Croatia and Italy on whatever map they're in. If Norway win Mirage, well, 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 we're going to have map number three for you guys to enjoy between Norway and Iceland. So, still anybody's game, really. Ice, well, Norway, they're going to be saying, look, guys, we lost that first map, but hey, you know, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna definitely think they're better than this Icelandic side, and they're just going to want to play it cool, calm, and collective. They're going to want to get that, that second map on the board. So again, at the moment, very, very slow from the terrorists, especially considering the fact that, well, they've got AKs. They're definitely not being quiet about it. Off Viker, is he going to check that corner? He is. And the good job he had that AK. And he used that weapon advantage to his all. But Rubinho, talking about weapon advantages, he's now got an AK. And where are these terrorists going to go? Rubinho is going to poke out. Headshot from Rubinho. Good stuff. And are we going to see an eco round win from Norway? Exactly what they will have wanted. Rubinho is going to fall back. No, he's going to make his way back round. And Danos and Skip it. They want to get this bomb down on B. But first, they're going to have to deal with Vendetta, who's of course hiding from them. Who's going to get the better of who? Danos has that AK-47 in his hands. Fortunately, Rubinho has rotated to help his teammates out. And who's going to get this first frag on the B-bomb site? It is going to be Danos. And is he going to take Rubinho out? He's heard him to his left. There it is. So one versus one now. Paint versus Danos. Oh, but the time ran out. The time ran out. I didn't have my eye on the time. And the CTs have got it. Brilliant round from Norway, especially considering the fact that they were ecoing. What did you think of that? Um, <coughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment on that round. 
Just, I mean, where do where? I mean, Iceland. I didn't. I didn't even look at, look at the timer, and it just oh, kind of kind of terrorist wins. I mean, Iceland. Like that was they a, have the, the same problem. They have the yes. weapons, but Norway were recovering. Yeah. Why did Iceland lose that? Well, got caught by Rubinho. Rubinho is a tough guy. He doesn't. Tough he doesn't guy. like to play easy. Fair enough. Talking about tough guys, Skirko too bad himself. Skip it as well so quickly. The Norwegians had a two man advantage and it's been quickly turned around. Thanks to those two Icelandic players. Paint is all paint is spotted drips. Now we're gonna are we gonna see a mixture of paint and drips? As they collide near mid. Skirk playing it cool and calm. It's exactly what he wants to do there. It's CTs. Look, they just got wanna kill uh, protect these bomb sites, make sure the terrorists don't plant the bomb. And let the clock run down. So off Viker and his teammates. Are they going to go A or B at the moment? They're just stuck in the middle of this bomb site. But there's the P from the CT. You can't do that. He showed too much of himself. And now Iceland have that all important one man advantage. There is a CT on B. I believe it's Rubinho. Down he goes. He no, it was it. paint actually. And surely now the bomb's gonna go down, only a matter of time, 20 seconds to go. Oh, but Rubinho popped out a window, he popped out a window, he took off Viker down. Are we gonna see a bomb plant? Come on, Iceland. There it is, Rubinho hears it going down, he's gonna pop up, he's gonna pop up. One from Rubinho, are we gonna see the clutch from him? But no, Drips got that important round for Iceland, just about, just by the skin of his teeth. And Paint denied what would have been a very, very good round. For Norway, 4-3, and Iceland, they're back in it. Have okay, we got a message on chat? What, in your opinion, is Mirage, CT or T side? Uh, well, in my opinion, I've had this asked quite a few times. I would say it's maybe 60-40 CT sided, just maybe because it's so easy to rotate between both bomb sites. But but again it really it's like dust too really 50 50 really more or less it comes down to the type of team you are the type of players you have in your team uh, and so forth if you've got a sick hopper in your team you can just pop out at mid and uh, you know get a few early frags early on in the round and that can sometimes give you that important even one man advantage will uh, pay it off but Rubinho he's made his way all the way back to T-Spawn let's concentrate back on the game now 4 versus 3 in favour of Iceland we've seen Norway do these strange pushes on Mirage for some reason they've they've, they've gone on the tried to scout where the terrorists are they've gone on the hunt for them but it hasn't paid off for them and Vendetta well Vendetta and Sentry look like they're doing the same thing no one exactly on on either the B or A bomb site but I think they've clicked the terrorists are all going towards this A bomb site they're rushing in there and oh look at that CT he's right behind Denos yes. is he gonna see him the smokes have gone out they're being dispersed left right and center and Drip he's gets on. a glimpse of Sentry takes him down four versus two so Iceland, of course, with double the amount of players Norway have. Danos is going to be in the fright for his life as Vendetta comes from behind him. Skipping knows where he's coming from and uses that AK to his full advantage. Skunk has picked up a gallo. Is he going to go for this? Is he going to save? Is he just going to try and get an exit frag? Then perhaps fall to his death. He definitely looks like he's not interested in saving the gallo. But I think the terrorists know he's there. So they've decided, hey guys, we know he's there. Let's not lose our weapons. And let's rotate back through a different route. And there we have it, there's the equalizer. Skirk a lot of, the a lot of saving from four, the four. A lot of saving from the Norway side. And we we saw it a lot on those two. And that's exactly what we're seeing it right here. So put yourself right in the shoes of Skirk just then. Galil in your hands, three versus one, you're on around fifty HP. I can't remember exactly how much it was. Would you have preferred no. to keep the Galil? Or would you have preferred to maybe gamble and try and take out any of the terrorists you could to prevent them saving the AKs and keeping their financial flow going. Maybe I'll try to try to do something only because if I die uh, our, my team will get a bit more money rather than saving it. Fair enough. Yeah I probably would have gone for it as well but hey we're the casters, they're the players, they're the ones who make the big decisions. And talking about big decisions, this is a very, very big decision. 
smokes and flashes over the roof into this A-bomb site on this old Mirage map, of course, but hey, we all love a nice bit of Mirage. Danos with the first, he's going to get brought down thanks to Rubinho, and off Viker returns a favour. Four versus three, now what's going to happen? Things are getting nice, hot and spicy, nades and Molotov being thrown, lovely Molotov from Drift, that's going to deal a lot of damage onto Vendetta, and there's the lovely headshot. So Sentry by himself. Gets a uh, exit frag. Surely he's not going to go for this, but Skippid and Drips are both heavy tagged themselves. The problem with the AWP, it's so big, it's so heavy, you can't do much with it. If probably if you had an AK, you might have you know, pushed right in there and try and cause havoc. But when you've got an AWP, especially considering how expensive it is, maybe, just you maybe... You can't afford to lose it. Exactly. Maybe he's made the right choice. He's being chased down, though. He's, I think he might just sit on top of this oven. Oh, no scope from Sentry. Fair play to him. If you're going to get an exit frag, why not get an exit frag in style? That's definitely what he did there. 5-4 Iceland. So now, again, I asked you something similar on Dust 2. We've got an AWP for Sentry and all other four CTs ecoing. How do you think they're going to set up and why? Oh, let's just focus. It looks like they're pushing it. And try, trying to try to make them, trying to flush them out to sentry. But it's, it's not sentry. The problem is sentry's nowhere near the terrorist at the moment. But oh, Vendetta's made his way back round T-spawn. Vendetta's gonna get that kill, and he's gonna pick up an AK for his efforts. And wow, what an eco round from Norway! Only two terrorists left. Hey, Skip is going to put the bomb down. 7355608, the number we've all grown to love over the years in Counter-Strike. Skip in and Cutter, of course, both on AK-47s. But Rabinho's picked up an AK of his own. Cutter, the last man standing now. Three versus one. The bomb's down and he's on short. He's planted for short. The smoke's out. Cutter, mate, you've got to get a move on. You've got to aim towards that bomb. But Rabinho's going to take out the goods. Five on five. What an eco round from Norway. I think the turning point there had to be Vendetta. He made his way all the way back to T-spawn and caught one of the terrorists off guard. Free AK-47. Thank you very much. He's going to pick that up any day of the week. And, well, you can't afford to give away weapons as strong as the AK-47. It's as simple as that. And Norway made Iceland pay the price. So we've got the bomb on the B side of the map. The flashes have gone over to that A bomb site. Oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. The bombs near this B bomb site. Oh, hang on. Why did Auto Diary chain there? Pain is pushed into the apps. But Skippin is going to take him down. Cutter, Blade It Ninja in the smoke. Sentry and he onto uh, Skippin. He beat it. He didn't see Cutter. He definitely didn't see Cutter at first, but he definitely saw him then. So Vendetta is up close next to Denos. Heard him bunny hopping. Bunny hop doesn't help. It doesn't help, no. It makes a lot of noise. Obviously, bunny hop isn't the same bunny hop it used to be a few years ago. And Norway are back in the lead. 6-5. Iceland are ecoing. What do you think they should do and why? Oh. I, ha I have a feeling that I'm just going to... Just, just gonna push, see what he can do in the round. So at the moment, in the round, finish faster. Looks like they're going all the way to this B bomb site. Where are they at the moment? There they are. They're pushing through short. It looks. No Go knows. TV's playing around a little bit. Where are they? Oh, they're, they're in window room. They're in window room. And they're pushing up connector. There's the first kill from Sentry. Rubinho getting on the action. Two from Sentry. His orping has been superb. And off Vikers, the last man standing, and surely a no scope from Sentry. Nope, he decided to, to uh, scope in, but hey, a kill's a kill. 7 5 Norway, looking good, looking good. This is probably the, the point where Iceland forced the comeback on those two, and now Norway, they've gotten a few rounds on the board, they've got the money flowing, they, they, they forced Iceland to eco, which really, we didn't really see Iceland ecoing on Dido's two after they bought up early. So normally, no. losing that round when you buy up early normally hurts you financially, but in this case, it didn't hurt them whatsoever. So, um, uh, fair enough, guys. Pretty Rubinho. much history being repeated itself. In a way, yeah. So, five versus four now. Drips made his way into out. They definitely know he's there. Sentry just hiding on the boxes, and uh, hello, hello, Mr. A bomb site. Sentry is waiting for the terrorists to come in. Again, he's got a kill on the board. 
Three versus three now. Sentries, he's fallen back. They know where he is. He's being shot at, but he still lives to fight another day. Skip has made his way towards Connector. Vendetta knew he was there. He made too much noise, and now this... Well, I was going to say one-man advantage, but it's now a two-man advantage, and now no advantage exists for, uh, for the Icelanders. As, what a retake from Vendetta. He played it cool, he didn't make that much noise, and he heard Danos coming towards Connector, took him out, and then, well, he said, thank you very much, and took out another Icelandic player. And, you know, if you were on this Icelandic it side... It seems like a... seems on. like a, a stealth player, just trying to get, get on their backs. Pretty much. I mean, if you were on this Icelandic everyone. side, you got the bomb down on the A bomb site. What would you have been saying to your team? Just dig into your brains a little bit. Again, just your team just constantly needs to stay, stay chill. They if they get too excited, it makes it going to start happening and. Here. Down goes Skirk. Wow, off Viker. Ramboed his way into this A bomb site. Couldn't get the second kill, but Rubinho's only on AHP, so he's there for the taking. Vendetta's gonna drop Danos with an AK 47 headshot. Four versus three, but hang on. Rubinho, Vendetta, both heavy tags. So still anybody's round, really. Cutters back in T spawn. Rubinho, as we can see to our right hand side, he's pushed, he's pushed up, he's pushed up, but he could get the better of Cutter. Who, without a doubt, is going to come round the corner. Who's going to get the better of who? It's going to be Cutter to cut his way through to Rubinho. And our oh, Iceland finally going to take on this A bomb site. Skipping, making his way through mid connector. Down goes Paint. And Sentry's the only CT with a decent amount of health. He's playing it ninja. He's heard the bomb going down. He's going to take down Cutter. The problem is now they know exactly where he is. Vendetta as well. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Well, no way, they were one man I actually night. thought Vendetta was just starting to, to save. He said, oh, I'm coming back. Vendetta only on 8 HP. I thought he was a dead... I said earlier on he was a dead man standing, but no, he made it count. Yeah. Sentry, very, very intelligent play. We know he's good with an AWP, but he had an M4 in that case. He's just as good with that M4 as we saw. He uh, played it ninja. He uh, prevented the bomb from going down as well. No need for the defuse at the end. And took down the second player in upper apps. So fair play to him. Four versus four. And our Norway going to get round number ten to finish off this first half. So, Rubinho, ooh, he, if he peeks out a window room there, Danos is going to surprise him with a lovely bullet to the face. Vendetta playing short, relatively aggressively. Skirk waiting on the A-bomb site where he knows off bike has showed up a fair bit in the past few rounds and finally makes that experience count as he nails him in the head with that lovely M4. Is he going to get a second one? No, nope, but Rubinho's going to get one. His first kill of the round. Cutter's just waiting around the corner. Drops Rubinho, and he's all by himself now. Four versus one, he got one, but he's going to run into the crossfire between Payne and his teammates in Skirk and Norway 10-5 up funnily enough Norway were 10-5 up on CT side on Dust 2 but Iceland pulled the comeback off oh do you think we might see a similar well, comeback I hope hope definitely because Iceland has some they're very strong as a CT they don't have I only saw pretty much one good strat on the A, those smokes, on. and that's what they got in those rounds, and they were not sticking by it. Let's see what they can do on the CT side. Let's wait for, the, for them to change sides. Black TV. Seems like the uh, there's definitely something wrong with the Go TV.
Let me give uh, one of the admins a buzz. Can you do that? People are getting angry. Yeah, well, again, you know, a lot of people were angry yesterday when... Uh, okay, it's back up now. It's back up. A lot of people were getting angry yesterday when uh, the... the uh, ma yeah, yesterday, the day before it, when the match had begun, but the admins hadn't provided me with the IP and password. They just told me to wait for them Came to send up for the me third round. So, you know, sometimes people get angry at us. We're just the medium that people get angry at us through. It's just like, oh, Kai and SM are here. Let's get angry at them, even though they can't do anything. Anyways, we've got thick skin, and hopefully n uh, Norway have got thick skin. It looks like they're going to go all towards B. What a push, and what can Danos do here? He's, he's, he's jumping cheekily. He's definitely spotted them now, and here's the Stampede of Terrorists. Let's see what they can do. There's Glocks versus USPs. Maybe a few P250s in there as well. See you later, Danos. Bye-bye. And the CTs are one man down already. Off Viker, they know he's there, despite the fact that he's shooting only a silenced USP. That is such a powerful gun. It's so accurate. And on the pistol round, you got no helmet. One shot, just like Cutter there, as he demonstrated perfectly, will take you down. So three versus three now. HP-wise, probably slightly in favour of the terrorists. Rubinho dropping drips and Cutter's all by himself. Rubinho knows exactly where he is and deals with him very well. 11-5. And, uh, well, on paper, we should see Norway win this second round. They should win the third round of this second half. And that'll put them 13-5 in front, which will mean they'll only need three more rounds to win map number two. So, we wanted to switch over to Croatia and Italy, but we could very well see a third map between Norway and Iceland. Terrorists, they have the weapon advantage, they're just playing it cool, calm, collective, taking their time. Cutter is getting cut. Cutter's uh, finally been cut himself, hasn't he? It's paint. He, uh, paint actually, he's only got a Glock, it seems. He's acting as a bit of bait. They're, they're, oh, he's acting as a bit of bait, and the rest of the terrorists, I think, they're going to make their way into the B bomb site. He, it's a oh, lovely play by Payne, got a kill as well. Rubinho with that AK-47, devours Danos, and now Skippid is all by himself with that very nice orange Galil. Fair play to him. But, uh, unfortunately, he's not going to save it. The sentry and the sentry with the, the jump shot. Yeah, very good shot by him. So, 12-5. Again, we should see 13-5. But who knows, this is Counter-Strike, and the thing we love about Counter-Strike is that anything can genuinely happen. So, 5-on-5, five five. the CTs, of course, still on pistols. And I think that previous round, what did you think of Paint faking the B-push? I liked that, I really liked it, but I was surprised that, that the CTs actually followed him back. Because it was only one CT, what if they were ahead of a load of terrorists waiting outside? He was well, basically he was, walking he was through his and And saving it. But I don't know why he just bought the MP7. I was expecting an AK or actually the green gun, but paint is a mystery. So paint looks like he's doing the same thing more or less, and the rest of and he's gonna get a frag as well before falling to his death. And the terrorists one man up already. They've gone through to mid onto this A bomb site. They know where the CTs are. They've got the weapons. They've got the long distance guns, and Danos. He's, uh, he's the last man standing, but surely he can't do anything. And Skirk confirms that to make it 13-5 in favour of Norway. And Cutter has the auto sniper. Cutter's go oh. Right, let's go and watch him then. This Take auto good. director off and let's go and watch Cutter because we know how good he is with that purple auto sniper of his. But actually, he's on the A-bomb side. It looks like the rest of the terrorists are going towards B. So, let's stick Auto Director on our good friend Auto Director and see what happens. So, there's a short push. Drips is going to get one. Is he going to get the second? The answer to that is no. But good play from Danos. He's put the Molotov down onto short. He's taken down one. He's shooting at the second one. But there's paint. He's going to drop behind him and plant the bomb. Oh, he's heard the CT come out. Off Verkus came out of kitchen by himself. Be patient, mate. Wait for your teammates to... Uh, Rotate. You know, I talk about the big green gun being rather heavy and difficult to retake bomb sites with. Unfortunately, that so almost sniper the from big Cutter, pink gun. the big pink gun in Cutter's uh, Cutter's uh, K9 
case isn't going to help much more. And he's doing the uh, sensible thing. He's just waiting in spawn. So he's skipping. They're going to save their weapons. And let's have a look whether Iceland will be able to buy next round. I'm not. I oh, Cutter oh. died. Cutter, Cutter died and skipped. He might get an exit Can it be? now. No, he's not. Payne's going to take him out. A near perfect round for Norway there. Made sure that Iceland saved no weapons whatsoever. And surely now, surely we are going to see a Norway victory. I'd be very, very surprised. Norway 14 rounds in, 40, uh, 20 rounds in, 14 rounds up. If they went now and gave it away. Really, they should. And we're going to see map number 3. I'm not sure what map 3 is going to be. It's actually going to be Inferno. We all love a bit of Inferno. I don't know about you, but I don't really do. So, Skirk, I think he got shot through one of the walls there, inside Apps. He still lives to fight another day. He's going to take down off Viker. Oh, sorry, that's Rubinho. Skip it, he's uh, hiding behind the boxes. Thanks now, one, but uh, gets taken down for his trouble. So, three versus two. There's the bomb, it's going to go down now. Seven three five five six zero eight. That number we've all grown to love over the years. And paint. He's holding this angle, and he's gonna drop drips. Then Oz. Surely not. Surely we ain't gonna see a clutch. And he confirms that. Thanks to Sentry. And fifteen five. I can't see Norway giving this away. No way. No way. No way. Norway are gonna if, give if, this away. If, if Norway loses this, I'm probably going to delete CSGO. <laughs> and sell my account. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, no way Norway are going to lose this. So let's see what happens. The CTs, of course, they've just got to buy everything they can. They've got to gamble on it. If it pays off for them, it pays off for them. But drips, nothing's going to pay off for him if he's playing like that. Well anticipated there by the Norwegian. Shooting and spamming into the mid connector. And dealing a lot of damage onto Cutter. So now they're just chilling at mid. They've got to push somewhere, of course, but they've got plenty of time to do that. One minute, ten. Let's see what's going to happen now. Rubinho's made his way into window room. He's spotted one CT and he will deal with him very well. Cutter's waiting for Rubinho to pop out and Cutter deals with him even better than Rubinho dealt with his teammate. So, four versus three. And the CTs, they've got the man advantage, but HP-wise, I tell you that back. Well played from Danos. Three versus two. And it's another one of those anybody's round. If Iceland get this, well, Norway will definitely be able to buy up. Drips is going to fall to his death. And surely we are going to see a Norway victory now. The bomb's down. I think we are because uh, Autodirect is playing up. Skippage has made his way around short. They don't know Cutter's there. I think... I think um, Skirk is uh, anticipating it, but two from Cutter. Wow. Do they have a diffuse kit? Do they have time to diffuse this? Cutter has no diffuse kit. I'm going to assume no need that, for the diffuser. that his mate doesn't. But like you said, they've got more than enough time. And wow, Iceland, they bought everything they could. And they are indeed going to live to fight another day. Makes me laugh. Well, you're a bit tense right now, because if uh, Iceland pull off some sort of amazing vitriolic-like combat, you'll never play CSGO again. Assuming you do actually sell your account and... It's not easy. It's not easy, no. So, how are they going to set up, then? Bomb's gone towards B, Rubinho and Vendetta chilling outside of A. I think we're probably going to see maybe a fake on this A bomb site there, the flashes and smokes. Yeah, I think we're going to see an A fake, and then a quick push into B. Danos is the only CT in B. So, how's this going to unfold then? I think this this is too slow. This is too slow for Norway. They've realised it's a fake. And Danos is just going to wait patiently now. And really, he's only got 20 bullets. But we should see perhaps a simple spray down. Drips. Drips has pushed all the way up mid. And he's going to take down Vendetta. Surely, yes Skip he is. Tape. Four versus three now. The terrorists, they pushed into this B-bomb site now. They're going to... Oh, there's the orb shot from Skipid. No, it's from off, Vi off Verkus actually. And they've got to get this bomb down. Four versus two. And Iceland, well, they've got some sort of comeback on the board. 15-7. Just a matter of time. Just well, again, Norway are in a very, very strong oh. position. I, uh, I'm i not sure whether they'll throw it away. They, they shouldn't throw it away again. I mean, we keep saying this. I, uh, Norway, you know, AK-47s, they're cheaper than M4s, so... Uh, 
you know, they can, they'll be able to afford to buy for a few more rounds still. So let's just see how it develops. But they have to, have to demolish them. Verkus has an AWP, which is good news for Iceland. One more round is all the Norwegians need to emerge victorious out of map number two. I'll try and get an update as well with regards to how Croatia and Italy is going on. But Danos is going to get that first pick off Verkus. We're using that AWP to his advantage. Drips is waiting behind the box despite Skunk's kill. So there two from Drips. Wow. At the moment they're all walking into Drips' uh, trap. And there's the Molotov. And surely we're going to have barbecued Rubinho tonight. And Drips confirms that. 15-8. I might want to take back about selling my account. It's not, it's not safe now. Iceland has very okay. Iceland has a very strong CT side now. Fast rotate. We do have an all now for need. the terrorists though, so maybe. You know, maybe again, it just seems like uh, Norway. I said Norwich. Then it seems like Norway is so close to finally emerge and victorious, but they just... Iceland, out of nowhere, they've, 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 they've gathered a bit more money in the bank, they're starting to use Molotovs, and it's starting to pay off for them. They're using more nades. You know, sometimes that little, little, little difference can often make a big difference in the complexion of the game overall. So, but it does definitely seem like we're seeing a different approach from Norway. They're going more towards this A side, side because it was working well for them earlier on. But the past few rounds, they've been more B-sided, so maybe they finally realise that, and they are going to go towards this A-bomb site. There's the first kill from Skirt, two kills from the CTs, Rabinho getting on the score sheet as well. Three versus three. Come on now, surely we're going to see a sign of intent from Norway. Drips wants to put paint to sleep, which he does successfully. Three versus two, they've got an AWP and two m to deal with now, the terrorists. The smokes are out, and if Danos sprays right now, he could take that Rabinho, but no need. Verkus, his teammate drop Rubinho and there's the second kill. Iceland have, are playing very very well. They're coming the back. They look like a completely different They're team. They're coming back. They look like a completely different team at 15, what was it, 15-5? It looked like they had no way five, back yeah. into it but maybe just maybe we might see them take this to the to 15-15 which will obviously mean we'll have to uh, enjoy a lovely overtime between these two teams. So, another buy from the Norwegians, but I'll tell you what, they are low on cash at the moment. If they do lose this round, then they will have to eco for the next round, which will put it at 15-11. Of course, this is all assuming Iceland win this round. So how are they setting up then? The bomb? Where's the bomb? We can't actually see the bomb on the map for whatever reason. I think that's because they've dropped it somewhere on the floor, and it looks like it's somewhere near T-spawn, somewhere here. Playing around in spawn at the moment, they're waiting for Iceland to make a mistake, maybe push a player out somewhere, get that early pick like Iceland were doing earlier on, but Iceland, well they've stepped their game up, they're definitely not doing that anymore. Here we go, the first encounter of the round is between Drips and Skirk, Skirk only on 3 HP and Drips takes good care of him, 15-9, exactly what the doctor ordered for Iceland. 5 versus 4, but Drips himself is on 25 HP. Off Verkus, 2 from Off Verkus, off wow! And he's gonna drop, but unfortunately didn't check the bottom right. And Vendetta made him pay the price for that small yet costly mistake. 4 versus 2. And perhaps in more weight. Ooh. Paint has been dinked, fortunately for him, it's only through the wall, he's being dinked even more through the wall, he's gonna drop Drips. He's being shot 2 from Paint, that's exactly what he wanted. And Vendetta as well. Cutter is all by himself now. He's waiting for Vendetta to come from short and he's gonna take him down. Wow, is Cutter More gonna pull his two versus one clutch off? He's, they know exactly where he is. They know how close he is. He's uh, pulled his knife out, paint. Oh, but the time ran out. The time ran out. And Iceland have got round number 10 on the board. Wow, what a game so far. I ain't keeping my eye on the time, but well played uh, by Cutter. I'm surprised he didn't fall back to, uh, to spawn because if he had died there. With only a few seconds left to go, it would have been a very, very cheap death. So now, you're on this T side. You've got, it looks like you've, Paint has bought up an AK-47. However, the rest of the Norwegians have Deagles. Obviously, the Deagle 
comes with a bit of controversy for CSGO. And so does that order sniper, which Kut has been using very well. So let's see what whether Norway, or one of those teams who can utilize the Deagles. Three versus three, those Deagles, they've worked well for them so far. But they need this round number 16 on the board now. Surely it's only a matter of time. Our Verkus is going to peak. But the T's, they're playing this textbook style. Oh no, just as I say that, Rubinho shows himself. Paint with two. And Paint, it's all between Paint and Danos. Danos knows exactly where he is. AK versus M4. And the silenced M4 emerges victorious. Five seconds left to go on the bomb. And Danos, he definitely wasn't a tit. And he definitely bought a kit. 15-12. Surely not. No, 15-11. Surely not. I mean... What what could be going through Norway's heads at the moment? They were 15, 15, 5 up, and Iceland, and they, they seem to just... be comeback kings at the moment. Maybe they start to take Iceland a bit easy. Could be that. Maybe, but whatever it is, they should have learned you know, from that You know mistakes. that feeling. I know that feeling, the complacency. You know that feeling. Come on guys, we have one round, one round left. Yeah, and everyone well, we stops can do trying. It. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. I mean, you know, complacency is, 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 is natural, but complacency is also one of those qualities that you can't... It's not really a quality that you can't afford in CS. 3 versus 4. Cutter once again cutting through the terrorists with that order sniper of his. Takes down Skurg before falling to his death. Off Verkirk. Now, what can he do with that P250? Oh, no, he's got an up. Hello, hello. He's going to peek. There's a kill from him, exactly what he wanted. And Norway are in trouble. Rubinho is all by himself. Now the Molotov's going to go down onto the bombsite, but we know Rubinho's not there. Perhaps he should play this cool. Perhaps he should play it for time, which is what he's doing. No, see, oh no. They've seen him now, they've seen him now. He's going to fall. Perhaps he should have, I don't know, waited until he heard the defuse. And then maybe, just maybe gambled on peeking the defuser and taking him out and putting the Icelanders into chaos. But it wasn't meant to be. And, okay, here's a thought for you. Are you going to bet on Iceland bringing this back? Or do you think Norway uh, are going to somehow get round number 16 on the board? Oh, well, I think Norway will win this. And we, and we are going to watch the third map. going to be very close at 16-14. It's not that I hate Iceland. The yeah. thing that... But anyway, his last round now is so important for Norway. The Molotov's out, but he doesn't care. He's got burnt feet, but he doesn't care. And he's going to run right into Danos' trap. See you later. Downs the bomb. Paint is going to get that frag, but it's not enough. Danos with two already. Picks up that silence. USB spams it. He's going to have to reload. He's throwing that nade now. He, all he has is that pistol, and he's going to drop Rubinho. A little help from that grenade he threw earlier. And Iceland have brought this back somehow. They're going to get a reputation as some sort of comeback kings. Fifteen, thirteen. Surely not. Surely we're not. I've said this about a gazillion times. I can't believe what I'm seeing in front of me. Norway, come on, pull your fingers out. You only need one more round. It's not that difficult. If you can get fifteen rounds, you can get one. But one important, one one interesting thing I noticed was that we didn't see Norway eco once. So I don't know whether that's their finances were really good, but. Uh, uh, Maybe a little bit of overconfidence or complacency sneaking in, like you said earlier on. The bomb, however, has been spotted on the A-bomb site, but Paint is creeping behind them. He's making a lot of noise. I bet you he's not going to check the tank. Oh, maybe he does. The CT in Cutter shot a bit early and he's going to call it to his teammates now. The bomb has to go down now. Surely it does. Vendetta just waiting. Cutter with that lovely purple Scar 20 order sniper. 45 seconds to go, they spotted Kutcher, Kutcher's going to use that weapon to his advantage, zooms in and drops sentry. Come on Vendetta, what are you going to do? Show us what you're made of, Drips is checking the B-bomb site just to make sure. But the bomb is still there and Vendetta needs to pick it up. 25 seconds in counting. What's Vendetta doing? Is he hoping he's going to be able to save? He's going to take down one, 17 seconds to go. Vendetta, you've got to pick up the bomb. You're going to be able to take out three just gonna run away from 10 it. seconds now. You've got to plant, mate. You've got to plant. There's the plant. Four seconds left on him. And, ooh, the, he's, he, 
one bullet to him would have taken him down. Take There's it? another from Vendetta. Wow, he's planted the bomb. He's only on 4 HP, but anything can happen. This is Counter-Strike. He's fallen back to CT spawn and he's playing it cool and calm, but off Vikas knows he's there. He's gonna peek him and there it is. Iceland have brought this back from 15-5 to 15-14 and my voice is slowly disintegrating. I think their bodies are at the moment disintegrating. Something like that, yeah. But at the moment I'm not sure whether to pull my ha hair it's out. Fine, anyway. So spam from skirt. Come on! Come on, Norway! You can do this! I've got faith in you! Do it for Morton Gans Pedersen. On the other hand, do it for uh, Ida Goody Onsen, Iceland. I feel a bit bad because they're the only uh, Norwegian and Icelandic players I can think of at the moment. So, 5 on 5, cuts her again with that order sniper. The bomb's been left in T spawn according to the small radar map, so I don't know what that's about. Drips. Ooh, down goes Drips, and that's exactly what the doctor ordered for Norway. And Danos prepares himself for what could potentially be a B push. Terrorists, they're all on short. Four sentries and Skirk who could split this and go apps. But three out of the four CTs are on the A bomb site. Paint will take down Danos. Rubinho, what are you doing, mate? You can't afford to die. You've got to fall back and play this with your teammates. Are we going to see a third map? Only time will tell. Sentry spotted the CT there. There's a shot from Sentry. Two versus two. Cutter and Skippid. Cutter with his, uh, well, no, he's dropped his uh, world famous auto sniper for an AK 47. Sentries, they know he's holding apt with that orange orb. Boom. Vendetta holding short where not one but two CTs are coming from. And surely now it has to be a Norwegian round. And there it is. It wasn't easy. They took a shitload of rounds to pull it out the bag, but they've done it in the end. And that's all that counts. We're going to have 1 1, and we're going to have Norway versus Iceland again on Inferno. On Inferno.